How's it going, y'all? Devin here from Tactical Cowboy, the best training company in Utah. We're awesome. We're super fun. And we're really excited to show you guys our collaboration with Sticky Target Systems. These things are really, really, really sexy and really convenient. So our main target is just going to be a simple Alpha Charlie zone with the head and the body. We're going to show you the drills that we're going to be running on these, the rifle and the pistol roundups. We're going to start out hot and heavy with the rifle roundup, elite version. Let's get after it. Eight seconds to spare. Eight seconds to spare. Woo. Solid work. Oh, yeah. All right, so there's my run. Nice cold start for the day. I tell you what, starting this without any warp is pretty exciting. Those first six rifle, you're like, oh my gosh, stay stable. But ended up with 14 Charlie and one Delta. But as you can see, these targets only help Alpha Charlie, right? So we used to say Delta equals three points. Now we're saying Delta and a mic completely equals zero. So. Ended up with 14 Charlies and one Mike, so that'd be minus 19. So that'd be 281 out of 300 and 82.27 seconds. So I'll take that for sure. This was for sure one of my kneeling at 100. The position was decently stable, but could have been better. But hey, when you're working with a time standard, you gotta get under it, right? So Isaac's about to run it. He's all pumped up. He's getting ready for the operator assessment. Stay tuned. Are you ready? Stand by. Get it. Perfect. Got to send it. A little faster. Hurry up. Got to send six. Now, go. Eighty-nine. He made it. Woo! Okay, guys. Hawaiian shooter here, or Isaac with Tactical Cowboy. Just finished up cold start with the Elite Roundup from TCTS. Solid. Um, but my my thing that I really wanted to work on is just being consistent and being consistent inside the position. So where I struggled the most was inside the kneeling position. I felt really good within some of them, and then I just kind of lost that rhythm. 
but it's very important to keep those so that way you're always within the fight and you consistently push on through um, and also staying focused. So uh, two, what is it? Two thirty six. Feel pretty good about that because it's cold start. We're going to hit it again. See if I can up my score. Yeah, but check out how easy this is. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 So we just shot this target target up, right? Can you talk? But wow! Wow! wow. Isn't I mean, that nice? Isn't that nice? Now Get we're yourself done. some. Use yeah. Some tactical cowboy. Woo! Gun butter. This is what you need to lubricate your rifle. Just a little bit along those edges. A little bit of dabble in these holes. A little bit right there. Wee bit right there. And you're good for another thousand rounds. All right, that was the Elite Rifle Roundup as a cold start. Nice job, Isaac. Thank you. Nice job, Pat. Yeah, you did good. Woo! All right, now we're going to do the advanced version, which is a different part-time. We're going to actually segment all these different movements to isolate them. We can focus a little more on that kneeling, maybe more on the standing, whatever you need. Here we go. Seven ready? Yep. Stand by. Nice, consistent. That felt that looked really, really consistent. All right, was good. Ready? Ready? Ready. Stand by. Look at that, 
Devin, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Oh, another one. Another one. Yep. All right, so not too bad. That was the advanced roundup. Why we really like these is that time standard, you have to make it happen, right? So on that prone at 25, didn't get the, uh, whatever you want to call it, didn't get my pole line to pull the bipod down. Threw me off a little bit. My whole group ended up right here because I was sending it. And I had three off, so that's gonna kind of ruin my score, but that's okay. That's how it works when you're under a time standard. So those three got me three mics, and then the rest of it was only seven Charlies. The rest of them were in, which I'm actually really happy about. So pretty good marksmanship. Got a little jacked up there, but it's good because sometimes you need to get the rounds on target. And as I go down to the prone, if I miss that pull tab, well, I still gotta shoot, right? So it is what it is. So not too bad. That would be a 278 out of 300 which is not bad. What would I get? Uh, 281 on the Elite, so very, very similar scores. Personally, I feel like, because we emphasize fitness a lot, I feel like the Elite, even though it's a lot tougher for a lot of people, I think it's a little bit easier. Because at that 25 yards, I could have just pulled, pulled, got it, got down, and made up time maybe at the seven or a different spot. So yeah, again, the Advanced is a really good one to dial in every position and put yourself under a pretty decent time standard. It's not too crazy. If they get too easy for you, text us. We've got some faster ones that I think you'd like. But yeah. what you got, Isaac? Whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> lots of, Char uh, sorry, lots of Alphas, lots of Charlies, a few Deltas. Um, feeling pretty good about it. The, the spot where I felt the most confident um, was the, the kneeling uh, at the 50. Felt very good at the 50. Um, some of it right there at the 100 as well. But like I said before, the, cons um, the goal is to be focused and consistent all the way through. If you feel that shot going off, just making sure that you come right back to it, right back to it. And that's going to help you stay, you know, focused and consistent through the whole run. Whatever you're doing, doesn't have to be the roundup, can be anything. So uh, focus is key and uh, stay consistent out there, guys. All right, so after calculating it, got some pretty good score. Actually, it was better than my elite. Um, I think, like I said before, it's about being consistent and focused at the at those positions because that's where I needed help the most. And so that, that was able to help me kind of just more focus in on my kneeling and also my standing. The prone, obviously, that's really good because um, I was able to a lot, score a lot of alphas. Um, but like I said, you got to stay focused and you got to be consistent through the whole thing so that way your scores can easily go up. If you get your marksman down first, then you can um, go for your speed afterwards. Yeah, so, so um, 247. 247. 240 out of 300 is 80 percent that would be a good minimum standard to try to meet 80 percent is enough to pass our classes but that's just barely making it we prefer and this is also on the pdf that you guys can click in the show notes we prefer you get up to a 270 or above before you move on to the next type of roundup whether it's beginner to advanced to elite so now we're going to back it off we're going to hit the beginner which is nice and pure marksmanship mm -hmm. very very simple time standards let's do it let's do it all right, the last one for the rifle roundup series is gonna be the regular rifle roundup. So two rounds at a time, all focused on your marksmanship and your positions. What I'm looking here for personally is natural point of aim confirmation. Therefore, I shoot and my reticle is always coming back to the little cowboy on the target. That's what we've got there. It's a good reference point, right? Yeah, yeah. For when you're fighting bad guys in the old west. All right, let's do it. Seven. Two rounds, stand by. Good, four, six, three. Stand by. Nine, six, three. Woo! Just in your time. Same thing, stand by.
up this got it in time. All right, from standing, two prone, two rounds. Stand by. Gun ring. Yep. Ready. Stand by. That's good. That's good. Same thing. Stand by. That's good. Alright, one more round of standing. Stand by. Solid. That's good. Felt really good on those. From standing, two kneeling, two rounds, stand by. Same thing, stand by. All good. Come on, come on. Let's stand right by. Back. Standing two prone, two round. Copy. Stand by. Solid. Yeah. My reticle was right in the cowboy. Oh, yeah. As soon as I got behind the glass. Oh. All right, down range. Down range. Down range. Woo! Knock this out. Good little workout. Real good little workout. A lot of reps. How many reps? More. More reps. All of them. And he's there. Woo! Two rounds. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Easy. Stand by. One more time. Stand by. All right. From standing to kneeling. Two rounds. Stand by. Oh, I gotta take my time more. Yeah, my first one, that was rough. Yeah, same, same. <laughs> I gotta take my time more. Got used to the standing. Alright, same thing, here we go, stand by. That's it! Yeah, Devin! That felt good. One more time. Stand by. That's it. Alright, standing to prone. Two rounds. Stand by. Ow, ow, motherfucker. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck to me, damn it. <laughs> right? Same thing, stand by. One more. <laughs> You're getting a little top heavy on me. Woo. But you're not little though. Right? Alright, stand by. <coughs> oh. Three, six, nine. I think that was your one of your. Alright. I tell you what, this is
a good workout running this guy. <laughs> really good workout. Really good workout. She's thick. She is thick. Oh, one delta. Damn. Just one. Fuck. You got Damn. three clean. Yeah, two Charlie's there. See about five or six. So not gonna get perfect, but maybe bona fide. Alright, we're going six all right, rounds to the head all at once. I feel out of shape. No, two years. Okay, two at a time. Alright, easy shots if we can stay disciplined. Yep, disciplined. Alright, are you ready? Yep. yep. Stand by. Damn, man, I'm touching. Too fast for you. Whee. Stand by. One more time. Stand by. Check him. Oh my off, gosh. We're just off to the left, but I mean, all of them are Here, come on over. All right, so pretty good. Could have done a little bit better, but. Yep, so we're going. Six Charlies, so that would be 294, since the Charlie is worth four out of five four. points. Not bad, but these easily could have been alphas, but have taken just a little more focus. So that's what this drill is all about. Confirming your sight picture. Confirming, confirming, confirming. That's what we got the little guy here. So that's what you're going to use. You're going to use the little cowboy to confirm your reticles where it needs to be to make the shot count. Yep. We're not freaking, you know, assaulters overseas in Afghanistan, right? We're not carrying around... 10, 20 mags. We don't have 30 guys with us. If you're going to use these skills as a law enforcement officer or as a civilian, you're going to need to be fairly accurate, right? All the ALO guys we've trained, they don't carry that much ammo, so they need to make it count. Also, when you miss, more people are going to get hurt from that threat, so yeah. not bad. Really want to get that perfect score. Actually, I've never gotten it. The best I've done is 298, so really awesome. If you get the perfect score, hit me up. I'll send you something cool, yeah. but you got to prove it. Yeah, go for it, Isaac. Well, I, I didn't get perfect, but I definitely got a pretty good score. One Delta, not that I'm really happy. I'm not happy about that one. Uh, 12 Charlie, the rest are alphas because we bring over here. Pretty good. I felt very confident, but like what Devin was saying, you got to stay um, in it to win it. So getting that confirmation to, to every sight picture that you are within every position is going to help you. So that way you can dial in that accuracy and try and hit. I like these targets, by the way. That having this this cowboy right there, I get to shoot someone that I probably don't like. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Just fucking with you. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like I really, I really uh, am happy about this 283. Could I have done better? Absolutely. It's right here. This one was the standing. So it's very hard to accomplish that accuracy at, at 100 yards for standing. So the more you practice it, the more you're going to get better at it. Here you go. Nice. Awesome. All right, pistol time. All right, y'all. If you're looking for an amazing pair of jeans, you need to hit up Barbell Apparel. So I freaking love all of their jeans. They're extremely flexible, extremely durable. As you can see, we're out here getting nasty, running and gunning on the shooting range, having a great time. I freaking love them. Highly recommend them. Barbell also has a lifetime guarantee where they're going to back you up if you rip them, if you tear them. They're going to help you replace them, all that kind of stuff. So support those who support us. Highly recommend Barbell Apparel if you want to look cool. Remember, rule number one is what? Always look cool. Get yourself some Barbell jeans and tell them Tactical Cowboy sent you.